This demonstration shows how to connect an NIWLS9234 to an enterprise network with supporting WPA2 or IEEE 802.11i. To begin, we've connected an accelerometer with IEPE signal conditioning to a WLS9234. We've also connected a regular Ethernet cable from our laptop directly to the device. To begin, we'll open up Measurement and Automation Explorer. Under Devices and Interfaces, right-click NIDACMX Devices and select Find Network NIDACMX Devices. This will scan your local subnet for any supported hardware. Here we found a WLS9234 with a wired IP address of 169.254.43238. This is a link local IP address because we've directly tethered from our laptop to the device. The wireless IP address is still zero because we haven't configured the radio yet. We'll select WLS9234 and say Add Selected Devices. We can now configure it using Measurement and Automation Explorer by clicking on the device under DACMX Devices. We'll see an IP address obtained using Link Local under the wired configuration over Ethernet, and we can now configure the wireless by first selecting our country, United States, and then turning on the radio. The SSID we want to connect to is called NI. Our authentication type will be WPA2 Enterprise. Our EAP, EAP type, is LEAP. The device also supports PEEP, TTLS, and TLS. To connect to the secured network, I'll enter my user credentials, which are my Windows login, and hit Save Settings to apply it to the device. I'll click OK, and the device will now reset and authenticate with the network. We'll know we're successful because the wired status will say up as well as the wireless. On the device, an LED on the back side will show when the wireless link is active. Sometimes you may need to press the reset fresh button in order to see the new IP address for the wireless radio, in this case 10.0.33.215. At this point we can now disconnect the ethernet cable from our device and connect only over wireless. In Measurement and Automation Explorer, press the refresh button one more time in order to let your software know that it's only connected over wireless. Depending on your network, this may take from a few seconds to a few minutes. Now that we've configured our device for wireless, we can select test panels to make sure it's working properly. Because this is an accelerometer with IEPE, we'll select the box for IEPE and set the acquisition mode to continuous. We'll also set our acquisition rate to 1 kilohertz, as well as the number of points to read per read to 1,000. We can start our NIDACMX task and then begin actuating the accelerometer in order to read our data. After you've configured the device in Measurement and Automation Explorer, you can use it in application development environments such as LabVIEW, LabWindows, CVI, or Measurement Studio, depending on what programming language you wish to use.